Granted that the contraction is going to generate enormous amounts of energy. And unlimited amounts. Un of unlimited amount of energy. And that uh, sentient life will be able to shape this energy computing power in order to do these kinds of things, or it will happen automatically. It will happen because intelligent life wants to survive. Okay, so and intelligent life is a critical part oh, yes. of the uh, of the whole system. It exactly, it's a critical and essential part of okay, the whole system. Okay, so we have we have we have life, we have the contraction. The life is using that infinite energy, if you will, to increase its computing power, and this computing power can be used to do everything, not just yes. anything. Everything will and everything will be done. Yes. Now, but will those things when you and I get resurrected? Will this be any different than seeing a hologram of you or me in some other place? Will you have the same, how do you, how do you communicate the, or transmit the consciousness that we have now, the first person experience? Maybe it'll look like me, it'll look like you, and maybe it will be, feel and, like you, it will act like you, it will think like you. Anybody yeah, interacting, of course it will be you. Things which are identical down to the quantum state. And this will be so accurate, a reproduction, it will be identical to the current you down to the quantum state. The quantum theory of identity says it will be you. But that means is there has to be almost an infinite number of yous. I wouldn't want there to be that many me's. So, uh, <laughs> I think, for... Robert, you and I have the same complexity. As a matter of physics, there's no difference between us. Or rather, uh, the difference is relatively trivial. I, I accept that. So, so, but, but when we're in that state, in order to make a quantum state identity with the way I am now, there would have to be almost an infinite number of different versions of me. Well, not that many. A mere... 10 to the 10 to the 78th power versions of you. 10 to the 10 to the 78th. Yes, yeah, that's, that's sufficient to get enough of you. Okay, but that's not an infinite. That's way away from no, infinite. No, it's, it's infinitely less than infinite, obviously. <laughs> but but there's still 10 to the 10, 10 to the 78th uh, distinct you's. distinct me's in order to create the me that that is like me now. That's true. But remember, these people in the far future understand about the multiverse. They understand that there are vastly numbers of different yous out there uh, even today. And therefore, they, knowing that to get this particular one, they're going to have to reproduce all the ones that are, exist in reality today, they'll just go up and do it. Because it is, it is a, uh, a generator that, is, that does everything. It's not selective at all. And by the fact that it, it generates everything, by, by the definition of everything, you, uh, you and I are included in a... Mic Necessarily. Uh, the particular us are guaranteed to be there. And remember, we have a huge number of variations out there in the multiverse. And the beings in the far future will not know which specific yous and me have led to them. <laughs> and so it's like alternative histories. You know, we don't know exactly uh, what any historical character did on one particular day. The historical character doesn't know. Do you know what you had for breakfast 25 years ago today? I have no clue. Well, our, our bodies are constantly different. I mean, That's every, right. every... So not only will they have to reproduce this particular you at this instant in the universe, they'll have to reproduce all variants of you over your entire, let's hope, very long life. Right. And they right. will do so because that's an insignificant part of the necessary, of the computer power which they will possess. That they are interested in knowing where they came from. We are part of their history. And remember, in order to survive, they have to drive toward total knowledge. Historical knowledge is part of knowledge. So they will reproduce all these variations of us to see where they actually came from. And just as a secret, you, you really believe this? Of course I believe it. I believe in the laws of physics. The laws of physics insist this is true, therefore I believe it. I'm a physics fundamentalist. <laughs>